Hey, what's up, everybody? It's another week. Here we are back at the SR Synth offices and uh, another week of uh, SR Synth Weekly. I am, of course, your humble little redneck. Um, and I got some great music today. I got some new artists. Got a, got a couple I've played before, but uh, it's just going to be some great music and some uh, great visuals for you. So let's just jump right in and see how it goes. Uh, first up, we have a band out of... <clears throat> I'm not going to pronounce it. I'm screwed. It's, it's Harlem out of the Nether Netherlands. Netherlands? Maybe wrong. Uh, but the group is called Hunter Complex. Uh, the song they sent me today is The Heart of High Places. Now, this is just a synth song. Uh, it, it makes it a synth wave, synth, you know, it has a little bit of everything in it. So, uh, But this is a really good song, and it gives me a feeling... Uh, I'm sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. What they put is a they put is like an '80s Jan Hammer mix with light industrial and spacey Tangerine Dreams touch. Um, I kind of go with that, uh, but I like it. It kind of gives me that. Uh, I went with the Jan Hammer feel, but I also kind of just went with a cop movie. It kind of gives me that feel. Of, you know, it's like a main cop is chasing the bad guy through the uh, you know the evil's hideout, <clears throat> uh, you know, and then they find them in the main room with a you know like like a vortex in the background, you know, uh, I should have called it a cop fantasy movie, but kind of gives it that, um, I forgot the name of the movie. Uh, uh, anyway, it's a full moon, full moon horror. If you ever look at it, but, uh, anyway, the, the main and evil are fighting and they both fall into that vortex, you know, uh, and they're separated. The main finds himself <clears throat> in a new world and time. Uh, and as you see this, as the whole song whole progresses, you see them, <clears throat> Uh, you know, you see the you see the main walking through and getting the lay of the land, um, and it's find out it's really extraordinary, and it's just you know the whole setup while he's while he's searching, you know, trying to figure out where he is, what time he is, and at the same time trying to find the bad guy. Uh, that's the main feel it gave for me. Uh, the other feel it gave me, <clears throat> sorry, uh, the other feel it gave me is a kind of like a the main team are working on a uh, experiment into like a multiverse. Uh, they're able to open a passage and go through the vo uh, go through it, um, and then as we as we see the song progressing, it you know it gives them a passage through the different worlds where they see many strange peoples, places, you know, and things, and everything is just you know everything is just all over the place. Uh, then they then as the song towards progression and starts going through the end, they realize that they're not the only ones who was traveling through, and there's an evil force there that's stalking them. Uh, they both give me that feel. Uh, could work on the same uh, level, but um, I like the main cop fantasy movie going through like a vortex. I don't know why, it's just that feel. So um, let me know what you think as always in the comments. And uh, here it is first up today. It's uh, Hunter Complex and the song is called The Heart of High Places.
I mean, it just gives me that feel. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, as always, um, while I got a second, make sure you like and subscribe if you like this show. So uh, just let me know what you think. <clears throat> Next up, we have, I'm going to screw it up. I, I want to say Synth Apex. Um, they're a group out of Russia. I'm not even going to try to pronounce uh, the city. Um, the song they sent me is Gone This Night. It's kind of like a synthwave cyberpunk is what they uh, what the, describes me. Um, and it's a really good song. It kind of gives me, <clears throat> this is one of those songs that you, you, you listen to and it automatically just, it just shifts you to the anime feel. Um, I don't know if that's what they meant, but that's just what I get out of it. It's like an anime where the main character is shown as entering the town, you know, like, like you've seen, um, like Kinshiro, uh, Fist of the North Star, if you haven't, if you don't know the Kinshiro name. Um, it just kind of gives me that feel like the main character is, uh, you know, is entering the town uh, the town is overrun with the bad guys, you know, it's like a dystopian future, it's overrun with the bad guys, and they're all ready to take him on, and then we see the main just run, guns blazing, you know, taking out the bad guys and just destroying them all, while the townspeople are sitting in awe and he protects them. Uh, and as the middle of the song plays, we see the main evil of it um, show up and they start the first fight, which the hero is beaten for a moment, and then comes back and runs the whole, you know, runs all the evil out of the town. And that's kind of like the main beginning of the story. So that, that's what I get out of the, this song. So it just kind of gives me that feel. Uh, also kind of gives me a video game-esque. Um, I, I want to go like Castlevania, like the uh, newer versions, like Castlevania X. Um, it just gives me that, you know, it's like a staging screen. You know, it's like a staging cut screen. You know, the main fighters and the evil you know, have talk about as the storyline goes along and the evil gives his main, you know, gives their main exposition and then shows a fight where the uh, evil sending multiple minions to take out the heroes. And then that's where the stage begins. Um, that kind of gives me that feel too. I mean, it both, it works on both, but I just like the, uh, you know, anime and game feel. So like I said, um, check it out. It's a really good song and let me know what you think. Also let, let them know what you think in the comments of, you know, of what they think of the songs and all the music on here. Uh, and here it is, uh, check it out, it's uh, Synth Apex, and the song is called Gone This Night.
like I said, I like it. It kind of just gives me that nice groove, you know, anime groove. So check it out. Check out the rest of the music. It's really awesome. And uh, make sure you follow them on their social media. Uh, next up today, I hope I say this right. Um, it's Garçon Taupe or Toop. If, if, if I pronounce it wrong, please let me know. Um, it's a group out of uh, Amsterdam, and the song they sent me is called Edict. Uh, this is a, as they pronounce it, a emotional synth-heavy track with big 80s movie vibes. And it is. It kind of gives me that whole... Um, it gives me that whole lot of things to work with. But I, I kind of, because I always do the same thing every day. Uh, but this one, it was kind of hard to just put in something new that I haven't said before. So, uh, this is a transformation of a secondary character. This is what it gives me. It gives me the, that transformation. It's like, it's going through a change and awakening with a new look and abilities. Um, you know, and also a new outlook on life because they've just realized that they've, uh, something big just happened and they've, uh, got this huge thing coming up on them that they have to, you know, they know that they know they've been chosen for something. And you see them leaving, you know, they, I mean, sorry, they leave the building or whatever they, wherever they were transforming to. And we see them walking around with a new light and awe of the hidden world um, that has been, you know, before they transformed, you know, was hidden from them. Every, you know, kind of like the, Mortal engine, so to speak. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, mortal bones. You know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> um, and you see them. You know, as as they go to the hidden world, they know they know that they, they can see them, and they can and the person can see uh, see the hidden world, and they start interacting with new confidence, and it just kind of gives me that whole feel. Um, it's that it's just like a transformation into a hidden world. It, I don't know why it just gives me that. Um, also, kind of gives me a succubus. I know it's going to sound weird because I, I went from transformation to a succubus. I, it just, you know, it, it works on both levels. Uh, but it's like a succubus arrives in the town and we show the, you know, we show the whole scene where, where they're just going around and they're enticing prey to, you know, to become their newest victims or slaves. And you, we just see the whole setup. Um, as the song progresses, we see her moving through the streets, you know, seducing the victims in clubs and whatever, and they just become so awe and so enslaved by, by the succubus that uh, they end up going back to her lair and become kind of like, uh, kind of like the slave, so to speak. Uh, both of them give me that, so, and it just gives me that feel of both of them. It, it could work on both sides. I mean, it could be a transformation into a succubus. So, uh, like I said, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like I said, it's a really good song. Check it out. Check out the rest of their stuff and let me know what you think. And here it is. It's uh, Garçon Taup or Taupe um, and the song is called Edict.
I like the succubus. It just works well, so I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and as always, you know, check out their, check out everybody else's music. Uh, check their web pages, which is all in the description uh, below, and make sure you follow them on their social media for a lot of great more content from them. Uh, next up, we have our good friend, um, <clears throat> and I always screw it up, and they know, I, they know I'm going to screw up their name, so it's uh, Fonz Tromontano, and again, they're out of Sheffield, UK, and the song they sent me today is called Live or Die. Um, it didn't really give me a description because they know I put my own on it, but uh, I'm going with a, you know, it's kind of like a secret. And what I mean by that is like uh, the main has left the lover as they're harboring a secret that they do not want to share because it could uh, be life or death of the lover. So they have to leave. Um, as we see the song progressing of the song, you know, um, the lover has pain but has to move on. Uh, with their life and we kind of see that secondary life of the person while the main character is harboring the pain on and on until the lover finds out why the main left. The secondary character of the lover, you know, has is, is moved on, but then they find out that they, what the secret was and all of a sudden everything's changed and that you get that climax as the song climaxes and it kind of gives the, the lover starts, becomes the main character searching for the, for the hero, so to speak. And, you know, because they found out the secret and they know that it wasn't because they hated them, it's because they had to leave, because of it, they thought it would hurt them. So now we got a search and now we got a secret finding a search. So that's kind of what it gives me as a main, the main thing. I don't know. I just like that whole feeling. Um, it also gives me that, as always, I like to do too. It's like the main characters also has disappeared for a long time, you know, leaving the lover to fend for themselves. And we see the lover now who's become the main character at the moment. Uh, taking care of business and then finding, uh, you know, taking care of business, taking care of their lives, you know, fighting, you know, now leading a team, whatever. And we find out that the original main character had a change and something happened mage. And it goes back to the thing where they have to go find them um, and rescue them, even though, you know, a lot of things have happened in between. And now they're the strong one and they got to go to rescue the other main. So both of them gives me that. It just gives me that whole feel of, you know, a secret, removal, and then search. I don't know why. It just gives me that. So check it out. Um, here it is. It's a really good song. Check out the rest of this music, as always. Um, here it is. It's uh, Fonz Tramontano, and the song is called Live or Die.
Like I said, they always have some really good music, which gives me too much to work with sometimes. So, but I, I like I like the description I made on that. So definitely check it out. As always, check out the rest of the stuff. It's really awesome. Um, next up, we have Endless Noor. I played them before, and they're a really good group, and I I like the music and the, and the vibe that they give. Um, this is the song they sent me today is called Software Conflict, and you can pretty much go you can pretty much guess what they were going with this. Uh, but they just de they describe this as this is from their album uh, Path of Endless. Path of the Endless, sorry. Um, the song uses quotes from Manborg and mixes vocoded lyrics. It's an android having an ex existential crisis. Um, it kind of gives it a big heavy Terminator feel, as they say. Um, I went with that because I, when, I, when I was listening to the song, I thought the Cyborg movie. So uh, the Cyborg has finished his mission on this one. And it kind of gives me that whole feel, you know, like the, the, the Cyborg's finished the mission. Um... Uh, Android cyborg, you know, I, I like using both because I think it's half human, half you know, they're hybrids, and they start to they start to question things. They start to question their existence, existence, their whole mission. You know, they start to feel as like is there more to their life than what they were programmed to do, and they start feeling it. Um, they start trying to figure out why why they were made, why they were programmed. You know, that whole deal. Um, and then as, as the song progresses, we, just, we see the uh, cyborg or the main character uh, start to undermine the programming inside their own mind and then start searching, searching for who they really are. Um, that's the biggest one it gives me. Uh, it just kind of gives me that uh, nem nemesis feel if you've, uh, if you've seen that movie. Uh, you know, it's kind of like questioning whether or not they should be. You know, they're all cyborg and, you know, they've all been hybridized but, and they were programmed to do one thing, but they were able to override the programming. Uh, also kind of gives me a, it's like an opening to a wasteland scene and we see like an AI coming online, uh, but it's become corrupted. Uh, we see the AI, you know, out in the desert, it's, it's come back online and the software is corrupted inside of it. The AI starts taking over the machinery and it just running amok, you know, it's trying to find the creator, um, as the software is bad to help fix them and help explain things. They're not evil, uh, they're not they're not really evil they're not good they're not evil they're they're just so corrupted that they don't know what is right and wrong and we see that whole you know setup where you know they're doing whatever they can to find the creator to fix them um and find out what you know why they are who they are you know and what they are so kind of gives me that whole feel you know like i like i used their their tone and i just went with it um it just gives me that whole um cyborg or ai trying to figure out who they are and you know just trying to find their place in life so a uh, really good song. Check it out. Um, as always, make sure you follow their stuff. Uh, as always, also like and subscribe my stuff <laughs> in this page. But uh, anyway, check this out. It's uh, Endless Noir, and the song is called Software Conflict.
you when mankind fell. I used their robo technology to create a weapon powerful enough to destroy them forever. I had to do it. After all, this whole nightmare is mine. So what did you think of it? I mean, does that give you that whole cyborg kind of feeling, like trying to figure out who they are? Um, let me know what you think in the comments, so, and, let me, and let me get your thoughts on the visions of some of these songs. So let me know what you think. Um, let me know what kind of movie you would think, too. Um, I know I have J Plus uh, content. He's been giving some great stuff on Twitter, so uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you want, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook. All the links are down below, because I, you know, just let me know what you think. Um, next up today, I got the Paul Walker Experience. And this is a, he's a little bit of everything. Um, and what I mean by that, he's, at, he's out of Missouri, and he's a little gothic, electronic, hip-hop, jazz. He, he does, he, do, he pretty much just does everything, and it's really awesome. Um, I, call, I, I would call him more of a, um, a multi-genre soundtrack, because the music, the music he does is really awesome, and it just kind of can fit with any soundtrack out there. So uh, the song they sent me today is Sinner's Playground. And... They describe this as, think of a place where no cops go, a place where all sorts of depravity, lust, and vice are encouraged. I went with that, but I didn't go with a cop deal yet on the first one. Um, I went with more of, I like, I'm, I'm a weirdo, I like the sci-fi fantasy stuff. So I, I kind of went with that and kind of went with the horror deal. So I went, the main, I went with uh, this, so check it out. The main character is searching for an evil that is terrorizing the city. Um, they find the lair of the evil. You know, we've seen that before where he's gone through. Uh, you know, the evil's found. You know, the evil's been found. And they find the lair of the evil. And as the song progresses, we see the... As, as the main character enters the building, we see the sick and twisted devices. You know, the minions and blood-soaked walls. You know, kind of as a whole, you know, just grotesque feel. Um, and as he's searching, looking through all this and just, you know, getting the clues and finding out, we see that the evil is actually watching the main and stalking them inside the lair. Uh, he kind of, they kind of want to know, the evil wants the person, the main character to know what they're about and what they are and just how depraved they are. Um, and that's just what it gives me that whole, you know, this just gives me that feel when I first heard it. So also it kind of, on that same note, it kind of, it kind of can work on a different feel, but this one is kind of like the main is walking up to the mansion. You know, we call, we've all seen those movies where the evil's in a huge mansion. And all the minions and horde are there. And the horde moves out of the way. It gives us that whole feel, you know, we know we're at that final battle stage. Um, the, the good guy versus bad guy. The horde has been told to stay out of the way. Um, and the... And the main have to go face meet face to face for a final fight. As the song progresses, we see them. You know, we see the uh, hero main character uh, moving through the mansion. He's steadfast, but always on guard because he's walking around, and he's, and they can see the you know all the horde just watching him. And, you know, they want to strike, but they know they can't. And as as the bad guys watch, he's walking through the mansion to go meet face to face with this evil. So I mean, both of those work, but I, I like kind of like the uh, the evil lair and the the depravity. So uh, it just gives me, both of those just give me that strong horror, you know, evil feel. So 
Uh, like I said, check it out. Let me know what you think as always. Um, so check this out. It's uh, the Paul Walker Experience and the song is called Sinner's Playground.
like I said, he's a big soundtrack guy. I just love that feel of, of all of his music. It kind of gives me that whole soundtrack deal. Just All of his music gives me a lot to work with. So, like I said, check it out. Check out the rest of this stuff. It's really awesome. Um, last up today, we have Mono Woman. And that threw me off. So, <laughs> uh, I, I'm not really sure what they what the name was for, but, you know, I'm a, my name is Synth Redneck, so I don't, you know, I can't really say much. So, <laughs> Uh, sorry, I had to adjust my, my stand fell. So, uh, but anyway, uh, the, the group is called Mono Woman and they're out of, oh my God, I'm not going to pronounce this name in Russia. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I can't. Uh, the song they sent me today is called Mostly Clear at Night. Um, uh, it's a synthwave song and as I, as they said it, they, it's just, they just described it as a classic synth combined with guitars. This has a lot more than that. I mean, I know they can. I know they probably have a different feel for it, but I went with an ending prologue kind of feel. So, you know, it's like one of those where the main is just beating the bad guy with the team. They're shown as the song goes on, you know, moving and driving back to the base. Uh, they're in or out of the city, and and they're all stoically, you know, as they as they know they've won, and uh, you know they're just you know they're just leaving out. They're you know as we end, everybody is just happy, you know, they're just kind of, they know they've won, they know they've beaten the evil, they know things are going to change, and they know the world has become a better place, or going to become a better place for it. Um, that's the main feel I got from it. Um, I also get from it a kind of like a main and team have arrived, uh, you know, at the, that, at the location, and we see them getting the gear, you know, we've seen a lot of movies where they're all getting suit up, and it kind of gives that montage of them suiting up the weapons and, you know, gear. And they go to take on the bad guys and, you know, they set up in positions as a montage also starts showing them taking out and arresting all the bad guys in a sequence. Um, then about midway through, they start after the boss and towards the end, we see them taking down the boss and, you know, towards the, and as the end of the song goes, it's, uh, it gives them the, the boss is, uh, the boss has been taken care of and, you know, it's kind of like the end of the show or end of the you know, like into the scene where all they're all together, you know, kind of making a joke and just, you know, and, and then we get that whole end of scene. Um, while the bad guy is just getting there, you know, handcuffed and just, uh, you know, and they're just ragging him over it. Uh, both of those kind of work for me. Uh, I could work in the same thing as always, but it just gives me that nice little 80s cop sound feel, you know, or showdown. So uh, let me know what you think as always. Um, and check it out for today. This is, this is going to be the last one for the day. It's uh, Mono Woman, and the song is called Mostly Clear at Night.
that's it for this week. As always, I appreciate everybody's uh, love and support. Um, if you've been following my things, we've had a couple of issues from last episode uh, that had to be taken care of. Um, if, you, if you watched last episode, you'll notice that I had to edit out a song uh, that was done per request. So if, if you're wondering why there was only six songs, I had to edit out one song. Um, I, I hope everybody likes my music. Uh, I'm sorry, my, my show and everybody's music here. Uh, I appreciate everybody's love and support on this and uh, helps me keep going. Um, as always, uh, every artist here and all the artists on my last episodes, make sure you like and follow them. Uh, follow the social media and as always buy their stuff because you know uh, that's what they're for. You know they, they want your, they want you to listen to their music and uh, you know help them grow. So I uh, hope everybody has a great week. Um, hopefully I can get over this flu I have. Um, as you can hear, I kind of sound weird. Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hope everybody has a great week. I love everybody, uh, and we'll see you next week on episode 38. Have a great one. Bye.